Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we met with Ben and Mo the Clown. Uh, both very strange characters to say the least. And as we learn more about Ben especially, he's gonna get even weirder. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to go ahead and go back to the detention center because we need to have a talk with Max and see if we can break those psyche locks of his. Ugh! Oh, it's my two sweeties! Welcome to the detention center! Ugh, did he just call me a sweetie? Again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Uh, wonderfully fantabuloso! I mean fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. W what's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. You have any talking points? I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be the same stuff as before. If there's anything cool or interesting, I'll put it up on screen. But for now... We're gonna break your locks. Last night, you met with the Ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly! We breached an agreement about the salary from my six-month-old contract! That's the truth? The whole truth? Nothing about the truth, so help you God? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Well, easy way to prove that is we know for a fact that you didn't negotiate your stuff last night because that was from a week ago, the papers. Take that! The, the, that's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being comp well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F f fab fabulous Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie, that's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max? Perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about. Well, if I don't have to... Isn't this why the ringmaster called you to his room that night? It was most likely because... As mentioned in the previous episode, Max clonked Ben on the head, and that's a huge problem. Isn't this why you were called to the Ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria. But you already knew that, didn't you? Uh, of course! It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max, what is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle to, as mentioned previously, clonk Ben. B ben! You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? Ugh. And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. F -f -f fabulous You might as well be a magician! The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. You fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told me my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Um... 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 
Uh -huh. Would you put up with that? Ill bread. Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. Are you sure this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is he made me mad and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when I... That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie, and no one else's. Hmm, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? I think... And I might be completely wrong with this. I think, technically speaking, it is legal to marry someone in California at the age of 16 if you have their parents' consent. But that's still super duper gross. Um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Unless Ben and Trillo are together, Trillo can't say a word. Trillo? The puppet, the ventriloquist's puppet, his real name is Trillo Quist. So yeah, you can see the pun there, Ben Trillo Quist. But... A puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hid it. Before the police came and took my, me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the bulls, uh, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist's puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie, you aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Ah, oh, fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson! Okay, I hit Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem. None at all. Thank you, Max. You know, I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Then don't go hiding puppets. Just for the sake of clarity, let's run through this again. We oh, I think this is new dialogue. Never mind. I think it had the same titles as the other ones, so that's why I got confused. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Ah, oh, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How are those Jurassic geriatrics? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie. That's why they're called what they call jealousy. J E A L O U S Y. They are absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who ref really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really understand. For instance, my sweetie pie. Hmm, so Regina understands him, huh? I plan on getting married to her. She's truly my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. Hmm. You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder? Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice, I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? I'll just do Grossberg's voice. Ahem! <laughs> Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's alright. I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. Hurrah! And then... I waited for him, but he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I have no idea what he went off to do. Okay. So now we're gonna run all the way back to the circus. Oh, and there's something right here. I think probably Ben. Huh? 
Ben's not here anymore. Never mind. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. Fair enough. Some more stuff here. Is Regina gonna be here or is it just gonna be- Hey, Regina's not here. Okay. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the Ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. It looks like the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you just stop it, you poster poster pilferer? I'm just kidding. You know I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of those posters? Yeah. Uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said that he had Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo. Ah, oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Yeah, that's why we came here, Phoenix. This is strange. I think Phoenix is just mentally checked out of this case already. I don't really blame him. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. Oh. Let's see. Where is he? Is he in here? Huh. There's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... That's Trillo. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll give it a, we'll give it back to him later. Why do I have to carry this thing? I don't want to touch the damn puppet. Ben, are you going to be back here? Nope. I think he's actually back in the cafeteria. There we go. Oh, hey Ben! Uh, uh, um, uh, hello. Hello to you too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Y yeah, uh, I, I d do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Oh god, he's even got Hottie's theme music. Tell us what you know about the murderer. I, 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 uh, I, 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 uh. Do you know anything at all? I d d don't know any uh, thing. Well, well, I, 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 I don't know. You've been in the circus for a long time, haven't you, Ben? Y y yes but four years! I gotta admit, I'm kinda interested in this place as well. Mo is so funny, Max is so amazing, both of those statements are false. Not to mention, Regina being the cutest little thing I've ever seen. <coughs> Regina? I, um, I d d d don't r really like her t t too much. Hmm, are you sure about that? Hmm, huh, that's odd. Max said something about a confession of love. Anyways, here's this little freak. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Y y yes th that's mine! Here you go. Trillo Quist returned to Ben. Alright, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben! Uh, 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 okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see, maybe we should go talk to the clown once again. Hey, wait! Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. What's your problem, anyways? Or don't you know how to properly greet someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 I would never. It was me, yeah, me, down here. You, you're Trillo? That's, that is Mr. Quist to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blurt out my name. Now 
Now try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again. Ugh. Mr. Quist. Is that better? No! Look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney! Excuse me, the Nintendo... or the Game Boy Advance is in... Gosh, how many bits is that? I'm pretty sure it's 16-bit. Or 32-bit, maybe. I don't know, put it up on screen. Trillo, we talked about insulting people. You promised. But he was mocking me. Being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trillo. Nick, what just happened? Trillo's still a puppet, right? A ventriloquist puppet. Hey, who do you think you are calling me a puppet? That means we gotta talk to him some more. Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me. Don't look at him when you're talking to me. Trillo Quist, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What matter are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trillo, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have... Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Gramps got clob... clob it over the head. Let me lay it all out for you. The pace sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off for me, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here. Oh, my. But I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage masquerading as circus performers, I found my Madonna. Your... Madonna? Regina. My lovely Regina. She's stunning. Right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of beauty. Hence why I shall marry her. M m m marry You... you're going to marry... Regina? That's right. She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? But she did seem a bit worried about things. Well, she... I don't care. It's my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. Well, um... The melody is pretty good. Those lyrics. I think they need a little work. Oh, ask you. I'm the artist here. The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by that flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica. Why do you say that? Trillo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up? I'm the one. I'm made of wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there. <laughs> if you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the facts. Um, uh, thanks. Now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here. Does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, buttface! Uh! You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh... You know it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Tr... Trillo? Enough jibba-jabba. Let's get to court already. Uh, hey! Wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Uh... Uh, is right, Maya. Alright, now that we've went ahead and dealt with Ben, and there seems to be something here at the big top, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!